I find that people get stuck doing the same look over and over, so it's time to be inspired by some fresh new looks hot off the runway. Here's one of my personal favourites. I call it the textured volume look. It's simply this androgynous look at the front where you use a gel or a wax and then the natural texture at the back. It's very simple and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. To start, we're going to prep the hair by shampooing and conditioning with a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. This is going to add the body and the volume to your hair. Once you've shampooed and conditioned, we're going to towel dry the hair just so that the hair is slightly damp. So the next step is we're going to use some thickening spray through the hair. Now the point of this is to get the volume and the support in at the root because we want to create a bit of lift on the hairline. So we start by drying the product into the hair. Now the secret here is that you want to get the lift in the hairline. What we do is we lift the hair up from the head, we're going to blow dry it and hold the hair up in that position before you release. And that's what's going to set the hair and give it that volume. You'll start to get that slight stickiness as it gets to about three quarters dry. And that's when you start to mold the hair. I'm going to direct the hair slightly to the side and I'm going to just dry the rest of that light product through the back of the hair. So the next step is I'm going to use a flat bristle brush and I'm going to brush the product through the hair. So in order not to pull this volume out the front, I'm going to just hold the hair behind the ear and then use the brush and brush through that product. I'm just going to give a light mist of the heat protecting spray. Now, before you start tonging, we're just going to clip the hair up through the back here and being careful again not to pull out that volume that you've put in the front. I'm just going to clip it up out the way and work on the underneath sections first. Okay, so we're going to start on the first section just behind the ear. Now because we've got fine hair here, I'm going to take larger sections. I'm going to hold it out, put the tongue in and I'm going to just wind the hair round the mid lengths of the tongue maybe two times. I'm just going to rock the tongue back and forward like this and then drop it out. Then the next section, I'm going to do in the opposite direction. I'm going to take that one away from the face. If all the sections are all going in the same direction, it just looks artificial, it looks forced. So we then drop out a bit more hair under the crown. And again, I'll clip up the remaining piece of hair and just continue the same thing on the top sections here. Okay, so once you get to the end of this row, we're now going to drop out that last final section so you can see that really nice natural texture that we're getting. It doesn't look tongued, it looks like her own natural textured hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish drying this front and put a bit more direction to the side here and finish that off to 100% with the dryer. Okay, to finish the look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of wax or pomade. Just get a little bit of that in your fingertips and then rub it through your hands like that and that heats it up and then you've got to run the product straight through your hair. And this is where you just look in the mirror and you just work it to what you think suits the face shape. And we just run the remainder of that product through the back of the hair like that. And that puts a shine on the hair, makes it look more polished texture. See how easy that is and how beautiful? And that kind of thing can actually go from day to night. Really easy, looks great.